Rose to pick yourself up and dust off. You have the skill, but not the title. That's on you. Hello, Inquisitor. Hello, Inquisitor. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlay would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. How have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the Exalted Plains. The Dales are finally recovering.
Since Corypheus fell, I think you may have spent more time traveling than I have. It keeps me out of trouble, Your Worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron Deschedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. I haven't seen Divine Victoria as much as I'd wished these past few years. She has missed you as well, Inquisitor. There are few with whom the Divine can be herself. I suspect the same is true for you. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Ole. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinter Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Tevinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize? To Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have the chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council... Thorelden would have the Inquisition disband. Ole sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? Corypheus is dead. We accomplished what we set out to do. Not needed any longer, and it can be done peacefully. It may be time for the Inquisition to disband. Thank you. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchant's Guild. And the Captain of the City Guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor! Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you? And the Inquisitor comes to the rescue once again. Is that what you call it? Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount... Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall? Are you here to represent Kirkwall in the Exalted Council, Viscount Bran? Provisional Viscount, which sadly is no longer my office. I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now? 
Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. Does this mean I can't tempt you into coming back to Skyhold? Wicked Grace hasn't been the same since you left. I'm probably going to be stuck in Kirkwall for the foreseeable future. There's a lot to do back home. They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a comp now. You can't actually do that without... Too late. Already did it. You should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice. For Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> What brought all this on? I'm pretty sure it's not give your friends lavish titles day. Oh, what kind of Viscount would I be if I didn't abuse my position to give shit to my friends? I've got traditions to uphold. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the council and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. This operates those giant chains. Can I try it? No. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh of Wicked Grace before I go back. Back though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time. You there! You're to dodge, not catch! If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. <laughs> They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. Poor boy. Well, he seems happy now. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. Oh, I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, <laughs> I think he likes me. I never expected you to make friends at a political council. How times have changed. <laughs> so they have. The Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. I can't imagine the Inquisition without you. I am honored, and likewise, Inquisitor. <coughs> you can help. Dodge this, and I'll find overpriced Orlesian dog treats before we go.
Darling, you made it. Excellent. I scheduled this appointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. Well, that's very... generous. I know. I even surprise myself sometimes. What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. Is everything all right between you and our divine Victoria? Are you digging for gossip, Vivienne? Trying to get me to give up the juicy details? Merely expressing concern for your well-being, my dear. Someone ought to. How do you think the conference will end? What do you think they'll decide? It's all foolish posturing. The nations of Thedas know they can only politely ask the Inquisition to be on its way. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm, I must see this for myself. You're useful to have around or lesions and their masks, but it makes him happy. And I needed the table. 
For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. Oh, Cole, good day. I didn't see you there. But I saw you, as lovely as your songs. So, you... Huh. The world has ample pain, Inquisitor. The kindness found in Cole is rare indeed. Her songs bring happiness to those who hear, and I can make her happy in return. Well then, carry on. Inquisitor Herald. Glad to be back, though. Whatever it is this lot have shoved up their sleeves. Just right up in there. That's it? It's been some time. Well, we don't know what's what, so what's there to go on about? It's Inquisition business, innit? That's all we are. Maybe sort out how they want to mess with us. Then there'll be something to talk about. Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Krem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. You know what, Bull? I really like hitting things. <laughs> I know, right? We have the best job. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now, right? Ben Hasrat, remember. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Hey, boss.
It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Then why can I still see those wheels turning in your head? <sighs> Work carries a certain momentum. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Oh, very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlais, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. I do wish you'd warned me the game would take more work after Halam Shiral. <laughs> it's strange. Those were somehow simpler times. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Splendid. I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! I've been in battles that were quieter than this. Oh, yes. What a stupendous voice Lady Brask has. Her D-sharp once shattered an entire conservatory. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? What I really enjoyed was seeing you put your duties aside for a change. I truly did. Thank you for coming. It's been too long since I just spent an evening doing... nothing. Here's to nothing. May it happen to us more often in the future. Oh, look! The Encore signal! something here. Orle is on your side, Lord Parvis. The Inquisition's support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. It's good to see you, my friend. You arrived ahead of me. I hope all's well. It's everything I expected. We've been spared the burden of surprise. 
Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. A reward for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. Inquisitor, Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. Does your grace feel the Inquisition should continue to rule itself? I would rather see the Inquisition join us freely than be carved into pieces for the chessboard. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is a good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? Not at all. The Earl of Redcliffe was telling me of events in Denerim. He represents Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? We still come across scars left by the Venatori, but the land continues to mend. I had hoped to steal a moment of the Divine's time. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. I am supposed to be impartial while speaking for the Chantry, but I confess that neutrality is beyond me. I do not think I am capable of setting my feelings for you aside. Is there anything I can do to make your job easier? You could find me a sword and something to hit. I must attend to other matters. If you need me, I am ready to assist. Unconditionally. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. The Inquisition has grown. I can see how its presence might cause concern. Then you understand why we must demand a reduction of your military forces? A power without allegiance to either Ferelden or Orle? Even I see neither of our countries can let it rest. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. have a ways to go yet.
Thank you, Your Holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Caer Bronach in Crestwood. Yes, from bandits. Would you like us to give it back to them? Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course Orle tolerates this interference. The Inquisition is the only reason Selene still has the throne. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Sister Leliana asked to speak with you in private. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montillier, can you handle this for a short while? I... of course, Inquisitor. This is highly irregular. Are we not even worth the Inquisitor's time? Inquisitor, I thought you would want to see this. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? Deadly mysteries at the Winter Palace. Throw in a Hala statue and some Caprice coins, and it's just like old times. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will ask Divine Victoria to call a recess for now. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. Well met, 
Your worship. Crossroads. Morgan brought me here while showing me the Alluvians. Judging by the bloodstains, he tried to get through here. Is something wrong? This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. trail leads to this mirror. Let us see where this Kunari came from.
Elven ruins. I'm not sure we're even in Orlais anymore. Another Canari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. He's part of their military, dressed for war. everywhere. This is the work of a mage. A powerful one. I can still feel the heat crackling. We need to find out why these Canari were here, and who did this to them. Over there. Canari. If we want to know why they're here, we've got to get across to that island. The elves found a spirit here. It feels old. Very old. What does it want? I'm afraid I can't understand a word you're saying. Intruders. Maybe it's all the intruding we did? When we intruded? It must have been set to guard something. was a refuge for elven slaves. Slaves? Of other elves? The old elves? Pissers. This whole valley was a sanctuary. 
created by the dread wolf Fen Harel. Fen Harel? The Dalish elves god of misfortune. Wounds on the back, no blood on his sword. Someone took him by surprise. This can't have happened too long ago. The blood's not even dry. This is Fen Harel helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. He took great pains to renounce his supposed divinity. But Fenny helping is bonkers. Fen Harel sounds like quite the rebel. The old elven gods must have simply loved that. Gods were just Evanuris, powerful but completely mortal mages. Ah! What's wrong? It felt like the anchor stung me. This looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge.
Kanari. Bust it on. The Inquisition doesn't seem alive. 